Hello, we are Virginia International Private School students. My name is Rima Zaoubi, and here with me is Alicia Zarif. Now, I'll be explaining a little bit about our project. Now, in the world of physics and mathematics, derivatives play a fundamental role in the understanding of the concepts of speed, velocity, and acceleration. Now, these concepts are crucial in describing how objects move and change over time. By grasping the principles behind derivatives, we can delve into the fascinating world of motion and explore its practical applications in various real-life scenarios. To solidify your understanding, we will also walk through a code that was created by Rim that incorporates these concepts and gain insight into its um, impl implementation. So, enjoy. Displacement, velocity, and acceleration. So, what is displacement exactly? Displacement is the shortest distance between two positions and has a direction. Velocity, on the other hand, refers to the speed and direction of an object. And lastly, acceleration is the rate of change of velocity per unit time. So imagine, imagine yourself increasing your speed while driving. That is basically acceleration. So how are displacement, velocity, and acceleration related? And how can I go from displacement to velocity to velocity and acceleration? I can differentiate a mathematical function one time to find the velocity and differentiate it for a second time to find the acceleration. But what if I want to go from acceleration to velocity and from velocity to displacement? I would integrate that mathematical function one time to find the velocity and then I'd integrate it a second time to find the displacement. Now, to better understand this concept, let's consider a scenario. Imagine a car traveling on the road with multiple stop points. We will take the derivative of the car's position at each stop point to determine its velocity. Now, let's start with the first stop point. Here, we have a diagram of the car's position. By calcul calculating the derivative of the car's position with respect to time at this point, we obtain the car's um, velocity at that precise instant. This velocity tells us how fast the car is moving at that moment. Now, moving on to the second stop point, we repeat the process. We, we present a diagram of the car's position, calculate the derivative, calculate, calculate the derivative, and interpret the result as the car's velocity at that instant. Again, we gain insight into the car's movement and how quickly it's traveling. Now we're going to go on to our third and final stop. Now let's consider the third and final stop. Similar to the previous examples, we analyze the car's position, calculate the derivative, and determine the car's velocity at that specific moment. These instantaneous velocity measurements provide valuable information about the car's motion. Derivatives are a mathematical model of change, and once you master them, they can greatly enhance your decision-making abilities and help you forecast future outcomes. But before we dive into that, let's explore some specific areas where derivatives are already being utilized. In the field of physics, derivatives play a crucial role in calculating various quantities. We use derivatives to determine velocity, acceleration, momentum, as well as potential and kinetic energy. Derivatives enable us to understand the dynamic behavior of objects and systems. Moving on to chemistry, derivatives are valuable for calculating the rate of reactions and compressibility. They help us study and predict how chemical processes unfold and how substances interact with each other. Finally, in biology, derivatives are used to model and understand complex phenomena. We can apply derivatives to study population growth, analyze ecosystems, predict the spread of diseases, and explore various biological processes. Now, let's shift our focus to something more relatable to many of us, video games. Have you ever wondered why some people seem to excel in video games while others struggle? Well, derivatives might be the secret ingredient. Imagine playing a shooting game where you need to hit a moving enemy. It's not as easy as it seems because the enemy is constantly on the move. To be successful, you need to anticipate where they will be in the next moment and aim your shot there. How can you predict your, their movement accurately? By taking into account the direction and speed of their movement, which can be represented by derivatives. The derivative of their movement gives you valuable information to estimate their future position. And here's an interesting fact. When you predict their eventual location, you're actually performing a mental integration. You're integrating their speed and direction over time to predict where they'll be next, allowing you to line up the perfect shot. Calculus in motion simulation. 
a simulation that is created by Virginia International Private School students. So what does our simulation exactly do? This Python code calculates and displays position, velocity, and acceleration based on the user's input. It also uses a mathematical function and prompts for a coefficient and a time value. The program computes the corresponding values and offers the option to plot graphs. It also explains how derivatives are used to obtain velocity and acceleration. This code enables analysis of object motion calculation of position, velocity, and acceleration, and optional data visualization through graphs. So let's break down the simulation now. So the first part of the simulation imports the necessary library for the user to be able to visualize the data and for the code to be able to plot the graphs. The next part of the code are functions and they define how to calculate position, velocity, and, and acceleration. The next part validates numeric input. So if a non-numeric value is inputted, then it will print out invalid input, please enter a numeric value. The next part allows the user to enter the coefficients that are within the mathematical function that they want to solve, as well as the time value. This part calculates position, velocity, and acceleration. And the next part displays the result of what it has solved, and it will tell you at time t, the position will be, the velocity will be, and the acceleration will be. The next part provides an explanation of how it got the answer of what is velocity and acceleration, which is by differentiating the position function. And lastly, this part allows the user to plot a graph for position, velocity, and acceleration, or for none of them. So now you're wondering, how do we actually use the simulation from the user's perspective? The first thing you want to do is you want to press the play button besides the first line. So let me just press the play button. And after that, it will present to you, welcome to our simulation created by Virginia International Private School students. This simulation helps you visualize and understand motion described by a mathematical function. And before we can use the simulation, we're supposed to have a mathematical function. And I have that ready here. And so we have to enter the first coefficient, which will be 1. The second coefficient, in my case, is minus 3. The third coefficient is going to be minus 9. And it is also recommended to use this on a laptop or a PC. And then the last coefficient is 1. And don't forget the time value, which in my case, as you can see here, is 2. And now that we're done with that, we can get the mathematical function away. And we are presented with, at time 2, the position is minus 21, velocity is minus 9, acceleration is 6. And then it presents you an explanation of how it got to those answers. And it got to those answers by differentiating the position function once to find velocity and differentiating it a second time to find acceleration. And on the last line, you can see it asks you, do you want to plot a graph? Enter P for position, V for velocity, A for acceleration, or N for none. And I will be entering P. And once we have entered velocity, we can see right here that it has provided us a graph of velocity and time. And that is basically how our simulation works.